Okay, everybody, I'm back and on a hike above the neighborhood here, up in the bluffs, it's above the neighborhood. And but I wanna talk about goals and how sometimes they don't work out the way they think you think they're going to. For me personally, I started out wanting to do 10 videos in 10 weeks, and that was my goal. And I got to, I think, seven, and then I've taken the last couple weeks off, and I failed my goal. So I guess my point about this video is what do you do then? Um, First of all, why did I fail my goal? I feel like when I'm writing the next book, every single thing, every el everything else is pushed to the back burner. And now I've got unmade videos that I said I was gonna do. Holy shit, oh no, okay. Thought it was a big snake. I've been writing for the last two weeks. More to the point, I've been planning the next book. So what happens when I'm planning a book is I'll spend all day outlining scenes, chapters, portions of the book, acts. And at the end of the day, I feel like I have not done anything because I haven't literally written anything because there's not actual a word count at the end of the day. So everything else goes by the wayside. Any any other thing. I'm just like, no, 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 I gotta, I gotta make sure I get done with this so I can start writing quick. And so uh, I guess that's why I think that these videos have been something I'm just forgetting about. I wanna get to the next point of this video, which is feeling like a dumbass when you don't come through on something that you've declared to the world. Um, my first thing that I always think is like, all right, from now on, I'm not gonna declare anything to anybody. That's just stupid. I'm gonna keep it all to myself. I've done that and I've also done the thing where I declare to people. And whenever I declare to people, I always have to feel like a dumbass because I have to always push back the deadline I've set up for myself and that I've announced. It's just something that always happens. Um, dang it, this woman's sitting on the bench that I was gonna sit on. back to feeling like a dumbass. I think I truly think that when I feel like a dumbass, it's usually me leaning into something good. And uh, I'll just illustrate, like I was up at Keystone with my family a couple weeks ago and I was going into this coffee shop in the morning and this woman um, would make these great lattes and they were just the perfect foaminess you know what I'm talking about if you're a latte person some people do not make good lattes and they don't even know it and you just you get it and you're like okay fine I'll just suck this down so this woman kept making these great lattes every morning and I one day I'm sitting there waiting for mine and there's I don't know five people around me I was just thinking I gotta tell this woman she's doing a great job with these lattes and but there's this other part of me that was thinking, yeah, but you're going to look like a dumbass and you'll feel awkward and everybody's going to be staring at you while you do this. And, and so I just blanked my mind and went up there and said, hey, just so you know, I really love the way you're doing these lattes. They're perfect foaminess. And she was so happy. I could see it in the way she smiled, like, oh, thank you. And who, who cares what other people were thinking? To me, 
I needed to lean into that dumbass moment and tell this woman and share with her what I felt. And uh, it felt good in the end. And that's happened a lot of times with these videos. Over the last seven videos, I've felt like a dumbass doing some of the things I've done. And if you've watched any of the videos, you know why. Um, and I'm sure, I mean, I just know that 50%, if not more, of the people watching these things are just like, wow, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And I feel kind of like a dumbass. How many times have I said dumbass? But I have been leaning into that and not caring and just doing what I feel like needs to come out. And in the end, it always feels so great to just do that and to just lean into feeling like that dumbass. And um, yeah, I've got a good friend who I know will be watching this video because he watches all my videos. His name's Travis, hey Travis. And the reason why I like that guy so much and the reason why I'm friends with the friends I am friends with are he embodies that, uh, I mean, he's a true dumbass. He's just the biggest idiot I've ever met. One of the biggest idiots besides my other friends. I mean, he's not afraid to just engage somebody and you can see like when he's engaging somebody the, the, the people are always kind of like, oh, what the hell is this guy? You know, what is he doing talking to me? But then they get past it and they appreciate that he's gutsy enough to be that dumbass for that moment and to engage that person. And I admire that about him and I admire that about people who, um, there's probably a lot of you out there that, that put themselves out there and lean into going through that awkward moment getting out the other side and just getting out what's in your heart and what you feel like you need to do. Once again, I feel like I'm straining for a plot for this video, but then again, there doesn't need to be a plot. And I just want to, the, again, the act of making this video and finishing it and uploading it is the thing that's most important to me. I, want, I came out with this goal for doing 10 videos in 10 weeks. I've failed. And sometimes when you fail at that initial goal attempt, obviously we all know the feeling of just giving up and just saying, well, I was just unreasonable. It was just unrealistic to think that I could do, you know, whatever it is the goal is. Um, and then if you follow through with a version of the goal that's lesser, you can, I personally will, feel that feeling of people see me and they see that I'm not succeeding at that goal and I'm trying at a lesser goal and uh, and will they think less of me because I'm doing a lesser goal but I think that's what makes the end product even more amazing is because you pushed through that discomfort of of failing. In the end, it always just matters what you <clears throat> feel like you wanna do and what feels good to you. Personally, for me, doing these videos, being that I write and these novels take months and months out of my life, and then at the end of it, I have just that one moment of, of publishing the book, and when I finished it, it's a great feeling and it's a euphoria. I love that feeling and it's it's just so few and far between with the books. But with these videos, it's so quick. Like I can make a video and um, be done with this unit of creativity within a couple hours or maybe a couple days after editing. So I'm gonna stick with these videos. I don't care that I missed my, that I skidded off the rails for a little bit there and not worry about what people think because in the end, I know that only four of you are watching this anyway.